What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grips. Today's episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have never signed up for Mystery Tackle Box, you can save $10 off your first box today with the code GRUBS. And uh, right now we are going to crack this baby open and see what we have this month in our Mystery Tackle Box. Now, this is the month of April. It is my daughter's birthday today. So, uh, happy birthday, Lila. I love you. And uh, this video is dedicated to you because you love opening up mystery boxes of any kind. If any of you have small children, uh, that is like the thing these days. So if your kids are into fishing, a mystery tackle box subscription is a way to uh, really pump them up because everybody freaking loves a surprise. I'm almost 40 years old and um, I still love surprises. Let's get this open. Boom, right off the bat I see a dope sticker and uh, uh, it looks like a 10,000 fish cycle spin. These things are sick. Uh, the action on this is unlike any other underspin on the market uh, because of the cycle hookup here. It is uh, completely and totally different. Instead of just going in a straight line, this thing is going to kick out and kick out while that blade is moving. Check out that sticker. That is so sick. I'm digging that one. That's a new one. I, I have not seen that one yet. All right, so it looks like we got a shad style lipless tis the time of year for some lipless cranks i'm no good with them but most people love them this is the baiwa this is a french design for tournament anglers the scorpy tail scorpy tail four and green pumpkin this looks like a dope drop shot beat guys let's, uh, let's get one out of the package smell test it smells a little funky it doesn't have a plasticky smell which Taste, Look, lightly salted, lightly salted. Check this little thing out. This is killer, killer drop shot bait. You can even put this Texas rigged and, and use it as like a fluke as well. I would try both. So sick, look at that tail. Lot of action in this thing without barely even moving it at all. It's like constantly going. Um, and usually when it's like that out of the water, it's going to do that even more so than the water. That's that. Boom. Up next, it's looking like some lizards. I never really use lizards. I don't know why. Some people swear by them. I know guys that, uh, that say that lizards are like the best bait to use uh, for the spawn. Check these guys out. Well, I'm gonna have to give them a whirl. I'm gonna try and catch something on them, right? Definitely a cool looking lizard. And that is by Cream. Looks like we got two packs of Adrenaline Craws from Exxon. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. They're both green pumpkin blue flake. And last but not least, the Lunker Hunt Easy Prey. This thing's gonna be on its side. So this is uh, unlike many jointed like swim bait looking things, this is gonna be floating on the top like this. Oh, this one actually has a lip. So it won't be floating. This actually goes a little bit subsurface and floats when you pause. So it is floating, but it won't float on the surface when you work it. It will dive down slightly. Wild. Wild stallions. What do you guys think? Looks like there's a, a Carl contest where you can post some pictures with the Carl beard and uh, possibly win a trip to come and just hang out with me. Just kidding. Take a selfie with your beard and tag him on Instagram or Twitter. Cool. Well, ladies and gents, since they both arrived at the same time, our Carl's order for the month is also here, so we might as well pop this so and be open as well. Let's see. So 
know I ordered this myself, guys. Um, make sure if you're gonna go over to Carl's and you're a Carl's Club member, you use the code GRUBS10, save yourself a few extra bucks here. But uh, this is the time of the year for the Bandito Bug, guys. Time of the year. Pre-spawn, right on into the spawn. The Bandito Bug gets chewed. Not only does the Bandito Bug get chewed, but his good buddy, the Trench Hog, is also a killer bait to be throwing uh, this time of year. Pre-spawn, right on into the spawn. Absolutely killer for me last year. It was deadly. It was a deadly, deadly combo. Those things just got bit wherever I was using them, whether it was Texas or up here. The pre spawn into the spawn, the hog and the bug were getting rocked. So, something I still haven't even used yet uh, when it comes to the goo baits are these little rattling nets. So, you know, when, when the bite is tough and you want to downsize, I wanted to, to get something I could try that's a little bit different um, in the rattling nid. I figured it would be a good shot. We also went ahead, got ourselves a nice new hoodie because they are on sale like crazy right now. If you're a Carl's Club member, sick, sick mystery tackle box hoodie. Super, super duper cheap right now. So guys, uh, head on over to Carl's. Head on over to Mystery Dagger Box. Sign on up. Use the code GRUBS. Use the code GRUB10. That's it. Links are in the description. Love you all. We'll catch you on the next one. Fish out. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithm. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.